Okay, I'm going to be discussing an issue I'm having with Adobe Acrobat Pro DC where we fill in the PDFs in Microsoft Edge and I go to open it up in Adobe Acrobat and it's not showing any of the fields that we've entered in Microsoft Edge. And so this is a support ticket here that talks about this exact issue. This guy. So he says, when opening the PDF, uh, the field data is blank. Uh, when opening the file with Microsoft Edge, all the form field data is viewable. So let's go ahead and pull up a PDF. I've got one here. This is a uh, tax return PDF. You can see here Microsoft Edge has made these fields uh, fillable. So you can tab down and enter numbers into these. And so I talked about in a prior video how when we go to save this, what we ideally want is to hit the save button rather than the print button because the save button is going to keep these uh, fillable forms here and allow us to edit these fillable forms uh, when we come back and open it up later whereas if we print it it's going to lock these numbers in and, and we're no longer going to be able to change them. With Adobe here it's going to be the opposite because the reason why it's not picking up on Adobe is because it, Adobe is not recognizing these fields. Anything entered into these uh, blue fields is not recognizing. So I'm going to show both ways. I'm going to first save it and we're going to see the issue that's going on and then we'll print it secondly and show how to work around this issue and get it to work inside Adobe. So I'm going to go up here to save. I'm going to save as, and I'm going to save this into a, uh, a file here. I'm going to call this save as. And now I'm going to come back over here, and I've made my default PDF as Adobe Acrobat. So all I'm going to have to do is double click for this to open into Adobe Acrobat. And we can see that uh, it is um, hiding these numbers and the name and the address. So you can't see anything. We've got all these blue boxes here, but nothing is showing. So I'm going to come back over here, and this time I'm going to hit the print button, and we're going to click Save as PDF. I'm going to click Save, and I'm going to name this Print. And then once again, I'm going to come back into my file folder here, open up print in Adobe Acrobat. And so this is what comes up. And so now we can see the difference here is that we no longer have those blue boxes. Uh, and we can see the name, the address, and the number. However, uh, we're not able to edit these. So uh, if I hit backspace on the keyboard, nothing's uh, happening. So to make those editable, what we're going to do now is we're going to come down here to more tools. I'm going to click edit PDF. And now we can edit these. If I come over here and click backspace, I'm going to be able to change these around. And so it's going to change the font here because uh, apparently what the font that was, that was made in is not available here. So that's one thing that could be an issue. But um, I, another thing is that we're not going to be able to tab through this document like we would a normal uh, PDF. We're going to have to be clicking on these directly and changing them. However, if uh, re completely recreating the PDF is not an option, this is a workaround that can uh, help you uh, salvage the document. How we can avoid this issue altogether is if we come up here to these three dots, we click on this and come down to settings. On the search settings, we're going to type in PDF We'll scroll down to PDF documents, open this up, and then we're going to turn on this always download PDF files. And so it'll save automatically. So we can come back to Google. And I'm going to Google that same document. And now when I click on this, it's going to download it up here instead of opening it in Microsoft Edge. So that's how we can avoid uh, accidentally filling these out in Microsoft Edge.